Hello everybody and welcome to yet more Perpetual Testing! For today's map we're going to be having a play of... Well, that's a worrying thing to see straight away. Okay, don't trust that one bit. Uh, today we're going to be having a play of Time Jump... Oh, hold on, we're receiving a message. Bonus challenge, find inside free trophies for cake. What, like is in actual real cake? Ah, real cake that you do actually have on the signage. Okay, cool. Find real cake by getting free trophies and apparently sacrificing oneself in favour of the cube. Well, that's interesting. Uh, it's easy difficulty apparently and as I was about to say before we were interrupted, today and I suppose in theory some other day, we are going to be having a go at the time jump. And this was created by Tullaby CZ and recommended by, I'm not sure, I, I, I think it might have been me. So a very big thank you to Tullaby CZ for creating this one. So let's go ahead and get into the actual chamber and see what we've got going on, mainly you. Very, very much you. Oh, okay. Okay, world portal time travel shenanigans, yeah. You are clearly the focal point of this entire chamber. I like the way the skybox is clearly different through there. It's a nice day, that side, wherever that is, apparently. Okay, so time travel map. They never tend to get confusing. Uh, faith plate here on the floor, which is, I'm guessing is how we get flung up into that time hole. Or actually, let's go ahead and call it a time gate because that sounds far more professional. We got a button here Mark 2, high energy pellet receptor there, high energy pellet emitter on the floor, interesting rampy thing, and this. Obtain trophies, so actually find free trophies, what is in like the actual trophy model? If you find them, they apparently connect to this thing in the floor where, oh wow, okay. Yes, there is actual real physical non-lie cake hidden in this chamber, currently concealed in the floor. Cool, definitely, definitely want to find that. Uh, around here we've got an elevator panel looking thing that probably moves, as indicated by the watch your fingers stripes. We've got our exit up there, and a turret, still in its box apparently. Can I, can I have that? Can I, can I play with that? No? Okay, so somebody forgot to unpack the turret by the door. Uh, that's enough about that though. What we all want to see now is what happens when we cross the time gate, right? Flings us up here into that, yeah. Okay, immediately, I love that, and a change in music as well. The music changes just to add to the drama of what happened. Okay, uh, that has flung us into the past? No. No, this would be the future, right? If it was all shiny and nice that side, this side is all wrecked. This has got to be the future. Uh, that is not going to get at all confusing, although you are a nest, aren't you? Ah, and as usual with finding a nest, we find our portal gun. Why is it the portal gun always ends up in a nest? A crow could not lift this thing. It's far, far too heavy. Strange how it always ends up there. Also, turret up in there. Are you guarding a trophy? You're unboxed in the future. So someone pops in and unpackages the turrets by the looks of it. Um, are you protecting a trophy? Can I get in there somehow? Uh, that is a panelable wall. There's no panels here though. There was a panel in the past though. Is that another faith plate? That is another faith plate which should chuck us back into the past. Um, right, so we can go back and forth, which means that is back to the future time travel rules and not Terminator. And no, nobody counts time cop. Don't even mention it. Oh, and whilst we're on the subject of things not worth mentioning, yes, I am aware of Portal Reloaded. No, I haven't played it yet. Yes, I will at some point in the future. Um, oh, he's not there now. Oh, he's still in his box there. Okay, so yes, yeah, someone does pop in and uh, unbox the turrets. Can I get in there? My portal doesn't like exist in there anymore. So does it exist through time? It still says it's fired, so if I put the blue there, it doesn't go anywhere? No, because I put the blue in there first, didn't I? Yeah, let's go back and see what happens if portals cross the time threshold. Let's stick the orange on the wall in there then. Fling ourselves back once again. I got a feeling we're going to be doing a whole lot of time jumping in this one, hence the title. So do portals cross the time barrier? They do! Hi! Hi, hi, hi. No, you saw absolutely nothing. Uh, also, why are you even here? You don't appear to be guarding anything. I thought there'd be a trophy in here. No? Okay, well, you get to go play in the goo. No? Can I not pick you up? For some reason, I can't pick you up. Um, can I just knock you over then? Yeah, okay. That's better. That's him taken care of. Does that mean the one over there is also unpackaged now? 
How do I check that across time? Uh, if we leave the blue there, cross over? But then there's nowhere to get at it from the past, right? I need to be back up in there. So wait, I should have just gone backwards, right? Because that would be the same time frame then? But the blue doesn't exist in this time frame. Yeah, okay, that's going to get confusing. Uh, we'll check him out in a minute. We probably want to see about getting a cube. There was a, a cube delivery tube up there, but uh, apparently it doesn't exist at this point in time. You don't do anything. Let's fling back then. Over to this side where there is definitely a tube delivery cube. One there, which is the button, which is actually upright this time. Does that mean it works then? So how can I go about activating you from the past? Uh, you appear to have a portable panel behind you. You do. That glass thing is kind of interesting as well, because that was all smashed up in the future. Now, if we stick our orange one on the wall around here, can we press you through the mesh? You can. Cool. Right. So that should deliver a cube onto that weird rampy thing and drop it straight into... That's not goo, is it? Oh, wait. Does that mean... That signage thing, does that mean we can actually go in the water? There are stairs. Is this is this non-deadly? Is this pre-deadly goo? It's just water. It is actually just water. Does that mean I can go swimming? Oh wow, cool. Shell can actually swim. Alright, well there's got to be a trophy underwater in here, right? Why else would you go to the trouble of making Shell able to swim? Uh, we don't have, appear to actually have to worry about our breath. Oh, oh no, wait, look. We're doing that gulping for air thing. That is a video game classic sign that you are drowning and should probably get out of the water. Have a nice gulp as well. Okay, we've got a cube. Uh, it would make sense for the cube to go on you, which is two. Uh, two is over there, which doesn't do anything. Makes sparks come out the wall, but wasn't there a high energy pellet emitter in the past? No, in the future? There is. Okay, so are you firing pellets now? What happens when a pellet goes through a time gate? Anything? Are you like a one-time trigger and I missed it? Okay, interesting. Um, maybe we have to trigger it from the past as well, since it's already in the past. Which would mean we need to turn off the time gate, which I guess we can do by blocking this laser. And that would actually appear to be pretty much the only other thing we can do. Okay, let's cross over again. Go and grab this cube off of you. And see what happens when a companion cube crosses the time threshold. Absolutely nothing. It's completely unaffected. Okay, stick you in there. That turns the time gate off, which means launching this way stays in the same time period. So if I stand on you, you launch a high energy pellet, which comes at a slightly wonky panel there, which in the past... There's no... We're near the right angle. Are you broken now? I need to cross time periods again and check, don't I? Yeah, there's going to be a hell of a lot of going back and forth. Uh, let's go back over here then. Take you out of there. Reactivate time travel capabilities. Fling oneself back over and check this button. Yeah, okay, that's definitely a more usable angle. That will activate that thing for us. And then I suppose we can ride up, do a bit of classic portal and get up to our exit. Still need to find out what happens to you. Assume you get unboxed as well. And trophies. Don't forget the trophies. Oh, uh, well... Neither cube there, right? To have you out. And send a high energy pellet through? That would make sense. So, isn't that what I did before, though? So, if we take you back over to this side of the world... Ah, wait. That's how we check, isn't it? Hold on. Let's go put you back here. I just want to check if that one turret gets unboxed as well. I assume he does, you know, for law reasons. Uh, come round here, are you now an active turret? Yeah, okay, so at some point in time, somebody pops into this chamber and unpackages the turrets. Also, that. That definitely wasn't here, and we cannot exit, exit this chamber in this time frame. Uh, you, I bet you've got a reward. You do! Found our first trophy. Okay, cool. Uh, it also gives him a shot at us, doesn't it? Um, can we pick this guy up if we're quick about it? Or for some reason, turrets cannot be picked up. Okay, don't know what that's about. Maybe they're rusted to the floor in the future, but we can, like, just knock them over instead, okay? 
Cool. That is him taken care of. We've got one trophy, so let's use a quick save there. And there's an outside. There's quite a lot of outside, actually. Where are we? Huh. We appear to be in, like, some sort of public space in the desert? Aperture's Nevada branch? I bet the other trophy's out here somewhere, right? There's a lot of out here. There must be a way to get out there and look for a trophy. Can I get through this hole? They're quite big holes. You should really let me crawl through there. No? What if I do that, uh, hop into a vent thing that we know from Half-Life? No, you're not going to let me do that. Does that mean it's not out there? Okay, we're just wasting time now. Uh, the other trophies have got to be in one of these little cracks, though, somewhere, right? There's got to be a panel that we can see outside somewhere to make use of. It's a lovely day out there. Uh, it's much more inviting than um, the other time frame. Up there, maybe? I don't know. It feels like one of those maps where you could hide a trophy pretty much anywhere. We didn't really check the other time frame either, did we? Um, can I turn off the time gate and keep the future and be over there? No, keep the past and be over there? I wonder if we could hop out of that window. But that window won't exist in the past. Well, it will, but it be all filled in, right? This is, this is confusing already. Let's take you off of there. I assume take you... No, we're going to have to do like the crossing the time barrier via portals thing, right? So... Take it over there. Put the orange... But no, I can't get there. How do I get over there in the past with the cube? There must be a way to get over there in the past with the cube. Leave the time gate off. Uh, what if we leave a portal this side, since we do know they cross the threshold. Go turn this off again. Like so. Fling ourselves back over again. You're still there. Because I need to leave the orange here? Oh no, you should just be going straight through now, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's this side, and the time gate is... It's off. Alright, that's how we get over there then. Pulling ourselves over to here. We could respawn the cube if we needed. Ah, second trophy. Awesome. Cool. Uh, that's the second one of them. One more to find somewhere. High energy pellet on the floor here. I was going to say, is it fallen down? But it can have because it's not wrecked yet. It hasn't been installed yet. This is a chamber still in construction. So do we send the pellet now with the gate off whilst we're there. I just noticed the trophies are actually accumulating on the stand over there as well. So if we send the pellet now whilst we're stood here, does it come through from the past? No, so I think we have to activate that in the time frame that that thing is actually installed in. Not even remotely confusing. And as you can see here, this is where I would put my third time jump trophy if I had one. That, that meme's still cool, right? Or did I just alienate everyone under 15? Oh, well. Um, so we're going to activate it in the past. Activate it in the past, but still be here? Or activate it in the past with the gate missing? The gate is missing because it's blocked in the past. Time travel is confusing. Well, there's not much else we can do, right? I could block it here. What if we deactivate it in both terms? And does that fizzle the one from both periods? Can I have you? Thank you. Stick you there. Or maybe it needs to be on top of this and it would fall through when we cross time? No, that doesn't quite seem right somehow. Uh, let's flick back across then. So it's now deactivated in the future, but not the past. No, deactivated in the past and not the future. So can it come through now? No, so the time gate would have to be activated in all versions? Is that how that works? Also, where's my third trophy? There doesn't seem to be a lot of places to look in the past. Everything's all neat and sort of intact. Okay, uh, let's flip back over then. Because you're off, so I could go ahead and get you off of there. Uh, fly back over with you to this side. Gate is active. So if I leave you there 
now and cross back to this side. Then I need to get back over again. Well, can I get back over again? That's really low. Could I just jump over that and go through the paddling pool? Apparently so. So activate you now. Send a high energy pellet. It does. Which apparently goes through the time gate. Bounces off of you directly over into there. And activates you. Which appears to be the world's slowest ever elevating platform. Oh wow. Yeah, that that is really, really slow. If you get your fingers stuck in this, it's your own fault. You had plenty of time to move them. Yeah, okay, that is really, really slow. Uh, that has also opened up our exit, and I don't have a third trophy, meaning no cake, but I really, really, really want the cake. Uh, you're still crossing the time barrier. I don't think that's necessary anymore. Let's go ahead and get over there with a classic portal launch maneuver as such should be behind me it is cool uh we could go ahead and exit now but i would really really like to actually get cake in one of these chambers for once so through the power of editing okay i finally found the bloody thing and full disclosure i gave in and i watched the walkthrough video on the workshop page because without it i have absolutely no idea how anybody would ever be expected to check behind this single unassuming panel on the wall right here. If we go ahead and grab you and let go, a Ratman mural coated secret space is revealed to us. Jump down, use one of our pre-placed pre-existing portals to pass on through, and in here we find the final trophy. Yeah, I have no idea how anybody would ever be expected to find that. There's no reason whatsoever to check that as far as I can tell. Uh, if we go and jump back into the past, use this cube here to block the time gate so that our fling keeps us in the past, you'll notice our cake has been delivered from the chamber in the floor from once which it dealt. Um, yeah, we've finally been rewarded with cake. Cake with a button. A button that does... Ah, lights the candle. How sweet. I finally got cake. 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 No? Really? Seriously, after all that, I still can't, like, have the cake and do anything with it. That's not a reward, that's lie- Oh, it's lies. I get it now. The reward is lies. Very clever. Mmm, what delicious cake that was. I, I assume it was. I mean, in this timeline, I haven't actually done that yet. But uh, it's actually the end of this one. That was Time Jump, created by TeleBCZ. So a very big thank you to TeleBCZ, as you can see on the screen here, for making that one. A uh, big thank you to me for recommending it. If you'd like to recommend any maps for me to try and play, especially if they've got anything weird and unusual going on like this one, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means. And whilst we're on the subject of time travel, just before I pop off into the elevator, if anybody from Universal Pictures just so happens to be watching, I humbly, humbly request, no, I humbly beg of thee, please, please, please do not even consider rebooting Back to the Future, okay? That series of films is absolutely perfect, exactly how it is, and should not ever, ever be messed with. In fact, if I ever so much as hear of a reboot of Back to the Future, I will invent time travel myself and make sure that never happens. I mean, I'll eventually get round to, you know, world peace during world hunger and all that good stuff, but I will prioritize protecting those movies, okay? You have been warned. That is the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, catch you later.